started with me, so now your turn. FDWF globally launched a global campaign uh, on illegal wildlife trade, which whose theme was stop the trade that kills. I'm sure now you see that that trade has killed many uh, elephants, uh, rhinos, and many other animals that people don't talk about. So you see that this is a real problem. And then we have targeted the thin markets. People call them markets, but I call them these are thin markets. You know, markets especially in the east. Uh, and then we decided we really need to domesticate that campaign back into different places. As early this year, we at WF and of course the government of Kenya organized that this uh, was a problem, illegal wildlife trade and poaching in important areas. Particularly, uh, poaching of black rhinos is a big problem. And, and this is something that we cannot allow. The promise is that things are happening at different levels. At the local level, we have people like Jim and different stakeholders, including the protected management areas, trying to fight this. Nationally, we are happy with the effort of the government of Kenya, and uh, I want to recognize the good work done by the new cabinet secretary for the short time she has been here. I think this issue now is a national issue more than any other time. It has gone through cabinet, it has gone through uh, uh, parliament, and we are looking forward, madam, to see what we are going to do next. I think it is very important that we recognize that this is a national security and economic issue. It is no longer about wildlife species. So we must take it to the level that will make the greatest impact. Uh, we know that KWS and the ministry will not single-handedly manage this. We as Kenyans at a different level must get together and do this thing very right. We must bring in other sectors and also we must take this to the next level. Madam Minister, we must take this to the regional level because it's not enough to deal with wildlife problems in Kenya. You know that most of our protected areas are transboundary, the Mara Serengeti, the larger Amboseli and the Savos. So we will hope that you will take this matter, especially to our neighbors in Tanzania. On its part, the government, from His Excellency the President, to all of us, is committed to ensuring that our wildlife is safe. We will provide all the necessary support to KWS and other law enforcement agencies to stop poaching of elephants and illegal trade in ivory. I am glad to learn that KWS is working with other conservation NGOs to ensure that this war is won. Stiffer penalties related to wildlife crime have also been incorporated under the new wildlife law to deter poaching-related cases and incidents in Kenya. The government is also exploring op options of introducing scanners and sniffer dogs at Mombasa Seaport so that detection of ivory is also enhanced. My ministry recognizes the need for improved cross-border collaboration through the establishment of formal operational structures as provided for in the African Elephant Action Plan. Coordination and cooperation on enforcement and monitoring of illegal hunting and trade in ivory with neighboring countries through instruments such as the Lusaka Agreement Task Force and Interpol have been identified in the document as crucial for maintaining national protection of elephants in the face of globalized trade pressures. The government has directed that all poaching cases be prosecuted as economic crimes. In addition, the government has revised the penalties to higher fines of over 1 million Kenya shillings and sentences of over 15 years. Once the new wildlife bill Once the new wildlife bill is enacted, these penalties and sentences will be enhanced to make them punitive and discourage poaching and ivory traffickers. As the Cabinet Secretary, whose docket includes wildlife, I note with great concern the magnitude 
of the escalating poaching and its effect on elephants. Therefore, I want to send a strong message to the poachers that they shall be dealt with severely and according to the law. We will ensure the penalties for wildlife offenders are further reviewed and made more punitive to discourage poaching.